Hi, this is John at Entopology. So you're curious what Entopology is all about. Well, I'm going to give you three examples of the power of Entopology, all in the context of showing this impeller. Now, this is a seemingly complex CAD part that I've imported. And to start things off, I'll dump this into a block, which is the foundation for how we do things in Entopology. I want to shell this thing initially, which is a seemingly complex operation to do in CAD systems. Now, I've already actually done that. You're seeing the rendering happen live on the screen. Let's go into a cross section so I can prove this out. There's a two millimeter shell towards the inside of this part. Uh, because of some recent GPU enhancements and the robust nature of end topology, I'm able to do some live edits and shell that to a completely different distance that I want. Now let's do something a little bit ridiculous to drive this first point home that what you're seeing is operations in topology are unbreakable. You can't really break the file. Uh, we just let you do things at will, and things that are complex and very difficult to do in traditional systems just happen in topology. So that's the first point, that things are unbreakable. Now let me change that back to a two millimeter wall thickness, because I'm going to use that a little later. The second point I want to drive home is that operations you want to do in topology, because they are so fast and robust, you really get to change your mind and play around with different iterations. So I'm importing a block or using a block that will just turn this into a lattice. Now, this is even more of a complex operation. Let's go out of cross-section mode. And what you're seeing rendering on the screen is over 50,000 lattice units, beams, show up on the screen. That's not an easy thing to do. I've turned this whole thing into a lattice. Now, that in and of itself might be a little ridiculous. Of course, you're not going to manufacture that. Uh, but the point here is if I wanted to change my mind and try out different types, I can do that pretty easily. I click a button. I went from a BCC to an FCC type. And again, over 50,000 lattices are updating in real time. Now, let's take this a step further because maybe what it is what I want to do is shell out that original body and put an infill inside there. So we have a block for doing that. And once I drop everything in, this algorithm rebuilds, and you should see in just a moment that original body shelled out with a lattice on the inside. And let's go into a cross-section mode so we can prove it out. Okay, so that's the second main point. Iterations are pretty fast, easy to do. Again, if I wanted to change the type in here, I could. Now there's one interesting thing that we can change, which traditional systems are going to struggle with this. If I put a radius value of 2 in here, it's a little hard to see, but everywhere where that lattice is meeting the wall, you're getting a radius showing up. It's going to greatly increase the fidelity of your model, and again, something very complex that's very much needed to do when you're printing a model like this. Let's move on to the third point, because what you've actually, what you thought you've seen is me building a part on the screen, but I haven't. I've built a repeatable process. What do I mean by that? Let's say that you have a new model coming from your CAD system, a change, and you want to repeat the, the shelling operation and the infilling, and that radii all around where the lattices meet the walls, well, what I've done is dumped the model, the new model back in, and I have created a brand new file because the algorithms just work their way down. This is a completely different CAD file. You can tell it was a little bit different, and the same operations just work their way down. Now, the icing on the cake with all this is it doesn't have to be just a variation of the original CAD file. I could have a completely different model to begin with, something like, I don't know, a, a mesh file that's a completely different file, right? I drag that into my algorithms that I've set up ahead of time, and this thing is going to rebuild in just a few seconds. Let's go into a cross section to kind of prove this out. So the process is completely repeatable on any file that you want. And not only that, it's completely customizable. So if I wanted to say, let's make the beam thickness a variable and have that be controlled, by someone else, and instead of maybe locking down certain variables, you can choose to do that. And again, the lattice type, the beam thickness, anything you want is customizable. So again, unbreakable geometry, iterations on the fly, and creating repeatable workflows. That's what Entopology is all about. Hey, thanks for watching.